What's up, people? Well, what a shootout last night. I was watching the highlights between the Dallas Cowboys and the Denver Broncos. Over 100 points scored. Records broken. I'm hoping that was a preview of the Super Bowl. Anyway, for this, we are going to take a look at an alternative for you Windows users. This is Zorn OS 7.1 light version there are different different versions that you can try such as the core and the educational um, those of you who follow my channel know that I've been preaching uh, the benefits at least for Windows users uh, you know the features of Zorn for the last three years Zorn calls themselves the gateway for Windows users and the team at Planet Zorn as I like to call them have really have done a terrific job in making a somewhat um, familiar looking Linux system it's not Windows it is Linux but if it looks like something you've seen before as I always always say at least you're willing to try it and maybe keep it so if you have an older computer that's running a little slow try Zorin Lite of course if you have a new computer it will run just fine now I am running this inside a virtual machine I was, I was trying to get this to go full screen couldn't do it it may be the guest editions or something like that. Anyway, let's take a look at the default desktop and see if you, being a Windows user, might be able to figure this out. So let's try right-clicking, Desktop Preferences, Wallpaper. This, I believe, has only one wallpaper. Now, keep in mind, this is a very light distribution. It's meant to go fast, and it does go fast. The downfall is you don't get a lot of extras, but maybe you don't want that. Maybe this is all that you're looking for as a replacement for your Windows system. All right, click close. So let's start at the bottom right panel. Just clicking along, of course, that's to shut down. Time and date. Now, this is in 24 hour form, and if you right click, the one thing I don't like about the digital clock settings, at least for beginners, is there's no clues or hints here to change this into 12 hour format. Other than that, it's perfectly fine. Again, if you don't care about that, then that's even better. All right, your volume control and mute. If you right click on a panel, you can go to panel settings and you can change the size and the orientation of where you want this panel to be, such as bottom, top, left, right. Again, self-explanatory, the appearance, you can add panel applets, applications, little shortcuts to the panel bar. All right, moving along, you have a choice of two desktop workspaces. The default media player is Audacious. Music player, I don't think it does video. File manager. Again, this is pretty basic stuff here. You can change how this looks, icon, thumbnail. That's pretty big there if you want a big compact view. Oh, let's go for the biggie. I'll just leave it there. I get it's a bluish color to make you feel comfortable, I, suppo I suppose. All right, Google Chrome is installed by default. Sure, why not make it the default browser? And there you go. All right, you will go to the Start button or the Z Start button. Accessories, a sub menu here. Oh, let's see, something here you may want to take a look at is maybe uh, sticky notes, similar to post-it notes. Graphics, probably you might be using Document Viewer to view your PDF files. Internet, of course, uh, Google Chrome installed by default. Another helpful feature here is the Web Browser Manager. If you don't care for Chrome, you can install Firefox, Opera, or Midori, a nice user-friendly shortcut. All right, Office, Abbey Word, I really like a lightweight uh, word processing, uh, word processor, a piece of software to create documents and you know save them accordingly to your favorite format. Uh, uh, an option to this or an alternative to this would be LibreOffice. I, I like Abbey Word. It's it's fast, it's simple, and if you just want something simple to write on, check out Abbey Word if you don't already have it. Okay, sound and video, Audacious, Disc Burner, and the GNOME Player. I would probably recommend downloading VLC. 
All right, system tools. If you are new to this, you may want to check out the software center, uh, the software updater. Definitely check out the synaptic package manager. Uh, those are uh, those are the three ways that I just looked at to help you download, install, and uninstall uh, pieces of software on your on your new Linux system. All right, moving along here time and date let's take a look at the um, take a look at the Zorn look changer you can change this between the Windows 2000 look and the Mac OS I'll just leave it at default which is Windows 2000 if you go to the Zorn OS Lite extra software again type in your password and you can install install extra uh, software and there you go I mentioned VLC this is a shortcut to install VLC preferences some choices here for here I would probably take a look at the customized look and feel I changed the color to um, crux the default is Lubuntu default which is the blue I like the purplish so I just leave it there and click apply well, guys, what do you think? All you Windows users out there, what do you think? This is looking pretty simple, isn't it? At least I think so. Run and, of course, log out. This is a terrific lightweight alternative. If you want something fast and simple to run and you don't need a full-featured operating system, now what I mean full-featured, if you are looking to run a full multimedia suite, then this is not it. You can install applications accordingly, but... But if you do not need all that fancy stuff, you definitely want to take a look at Zorin 7.1 Lite. I think it's terrific, uh, as all the Zorin releases are. So what do you think? This is Zorin. And of course, I'm running Windows 7. You've seen this before. What do you think? You think you might be able to figure out Zorin if you are running Windows 7? Yeah, I think so. So take a look at Zorn OS 7 Lite. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching and, and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.